Okay. Hello, Brian. Welcome and thank you so much for being here, man. How are you? Hi, thank you very much for having me. Also, very, <laughs> very happy to be here and thanks for inviting me. I good, am man. good. Good, it's, good to uh, hear. All good so far. Um, I hope you have a drink yeah. with you, Leh. Because uh, yes, no, I don't want you dehydrating. A drink your, with me. Your voice I is your instrument, right? <laughs> yes, my afternoon uh, kopi, eh, no? Kopi, uh, I thought you're a yuan yang guy. Yes, correct. Actually, my favorite drink, I have a uh, kopi in the morning and then a uh, yuan yang in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, in the morning, it only helps to, 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 to boost at the morning, right? Then afternoon, you don't want too much. So, but you also want a bit of sweetness, a bit of bitterness, you know, yuan yang. La. So mm. that's why. Good. Mm -hmm. I myself got a random generic tea, which you mm. will be spilling today. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I've been seeing you know a lot started, of uh, <laughs> yes, seeing a lot of uh, spilling tea uh, TikToks. Uh, but, oh uh, serious? Yes. Ah I've yeah. Been seeing you, la. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, thanks for the support. Yes. Hey man, <laughs> nothing. It's it's you pop up naturally, so it's not just whether I want to support or not, you know. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm, um, yes. I think today, right? Uh I guess you are a singer, you're a vocal coach, you have a full-time job, and now you're a TikToker as well. But we, you are, more importantly, a man. You are Brian Halim. Yeah. So today, yes. we want yeah. to know yeah. more about Brian Halim. Not Halim Kopi. We want a guy behind Halim Kopi. So <laughs> tell us more about yourself, man. Well, okay. Um, behind the Halim Kopi, i actually been singing for more than half my life started in secondary school choir and then jc choir but in uni i decided to you know switch to more modern contemporary a cappella so i joined my university a cappella group fell in mm. love with a cappella and singing pop singing right and then uh, the coach at that time inspired me to be a coach myself mm. so i took up my uh, coaching certifications um, got my certifications and then uh, went to coach, uh, did a concert, had the privilege of working with uh, very brilliant uh, creative directors in Child Aid back in 2018, which that was the kickstarter of my um, co coaching career. Mm, and then, the coaching side, yeah. Yeah, coaching side of things. So, mm. been uh, coaching for about the past three, four years, it's uh, very rewarding when I see my students uh, excel and improve. So that's the coaching side of things. Mm -hmm. um, I also graduated from SMU uh, about three years ago as well. Mm. Um, um, very fortunate, very thankful, grateful um, for the opportunity to join an international bank, which I have my full-time job in. Um, yeah, it, and it's great, right? Because it allows me the balance between my, my day job and my coaching and my TikTok and my other stuff. So, yeah, besides that, I really love... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a major foodie, desserts guy. Um, I bake sometimes. I used to have a lot more time baking okay. last time before, before TikTok started. <laughs> but now with TikTok started, I'm very sad that I've not baked uh, once this year yet. I, I hope I have time to bake this year. You still have so, half a yeah, year left, can I? Yes. <laughs> so those are, you know, the things you don't, I think not many people know. Uh, like okay, behind. What are your favorite desserts or favorite mm. bake, baking oh. projects? Oh. Mm. Baking, pro I think, well, I like tarts, right? Um, all types of tarts, savory tarts like quiche, uh, um, fruit tarts, uh, um, chocolate tarts. I just like how tarts can be very versatile. So, um, mm. yeah, you put anything on it, right? You you, you like uh, chocolate? Okay, you put chocolate on the tarts. Uh, there are many types of tarts also. So, yeah, there's if. If I could have what uh, my last dessert on earth, it will be tarts and food, of course. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, I, shameless plug, but uh, I like uh, katong chicken rice, delicious boneless chicken rice. That will be my last meal on earth. But uh, coincidentally, the yeah. guy is famous on TikTok, right? Yes. The, yes, the young I stall think owner. The, the, yeah, one of the owners on TikTok as well. So, right, yeah, yeah, those are my favorite foods and uh, desserts. Do you know each other? 
like personally oh, the the, no, the chicken uh, rice oh, guy and you chicken rice guy no i the only interaction is when i um order my uh, chicken rice ah, like, like, pan, <laughs> pan <zi zi. laughs> yes pan zi, for rice you know vegetables eggs <laughs> yeah. yeah very good okay then um i guess okay you specifically said you've been singing for more than half your life and i think that's mm. huge because it's easy to see what you you've done on tiktok and think that mm. it's an overnight success so i think we need to make it clear that it has been a long ass journey for you yes yeah and pretty much i would say tiktok is only happened this year right like past six or seven months since you blew up with your yeah. first viral hit considering this kind of uh, exciting or almost a whirlwind period in your life like getting famous i would say as humble as you are i would consider you pretty famous i see you are currently at 17.7k followers i'm only at 17 maybe <laughs> so um how do you feel about all this change do you feel different at all Wow, I, has it changed me personally? No, my I think my interest is still the same. I still like my 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 foods, my desserts. I still like to sing. I still like to teach. My 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 full time job in the in the bank is still there. Um, I think that something that has changed probably the time on on TikTok. Um, mm -hmm. so two things, right? One, I'm sp I'm spending more time, um, pushing out content on tiktok um and also second thing is also pushing my creativity mm. um because you, you the content that i've been pushing right it's a it's a mix of singing and also some um lyrics you, you gotta know how to write the lyrics in a certain way to make it uh, humorous not like, funny yeah so it's pushing me to get more creative and pushing me to constantly find um inspirations lah. so i think that's how it has changed it's pushed me to be more creative so that's the good thing i would say mm. yeah um because um how the algorithm works it reacts very fast to trends right mm -hmm. um daily activities people pick on it and pick up on it yeah very fast you, you once there is a trending topic you'll see it all, all over social media so you gotta you know you can sort of pounce on it and then push out your content really fast so in short it has spurred my creativity mm. um, i think second one also um, helps me to learn also about the, how talented people are actually in, in Singapore. You should go and see, right? That people always say the oh local talent or local art scene is not as big as other countries. But right. if you go and see the TikTok, right, there have been more and more so much. I would say brilliant, uh, brilliant content in terms <laughs> of like humor. There's singing. There's dancing. There's uh, lyricists. All very good. Um. 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 Uh, comedians stand-up comedy skits are very very interesting so yeah i would say it has changed two ways in terms of my creativity and my learning mm. do you have particular yeah. accounts that come to mind when you talk about the local artists give them a shout out or something oh hello fans <laughs> oh favorite comedians i mean my skits yoshi and ryan um both fantastic uh <laughs> storytellers yeah right yes. okay. yeah uh, yeah they're really very very good uh storytellers very funny happened to me by juniors also mm. uh, in the in the same acapella group that i coach um and the lyricist oh there's a fellow lyricist her name is telly we go in you go you should go watch her videos very good telly, as well. how she to spell a telly telly t-a-l-l-y a-l-l-y okay yeah very good um yeah she had a few uh million viewed videos a few yeah yeah uh, you, so i think it's two or a few i mean because you also <laughs> have a few then <laughs> well, yeah yeah but i would say yeah those she is really 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 very very good and yeah i think those are the yeah of course uh, there are many other creators that yeah are really very good right it's not just something instagram also uh, youtube mm. Uh, youtubers i think these three main platforms there are many other platforms but uh, i would say these are the main three good, yeah, good. So, yeah so that's how i um it has changed um, me so far yeah 
Okay, so far it's been really good. Lah. Is there anything mm. that you feel might be a drawback from all this? Oh, well, right. I think okay, I just read an uh, article like this very morning, right? And the, okay. and the article was about, oh, it was on Straits Times, um, how social media affects the, like the well, mental well being of youths mm -hmm. and how you, how only the good things are, pers are portrayed. Being, uh, portrayed right on yeah, social yeah. media and how it um, creates a illusion per se mm, mm. of how standards should be in society yeah yeah so i would say don't trust everything you see on social media um a lot of things can be um how would i say edited portrayed mm -hmm. in a certain way to make you feel a certain way um of course besides that um the comments on social media, you of course you need to take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, sometimes a, mm. a big bowl of salt. Sometimes you gotta <laughs> uh, ignore it totally. Sometimes you just accept it. I would say if if you are uh, if you want to be like content creator, be prepared for such comments. And um, there are many ways to help you manage that con uh those type of feedback uh. You mm. can go find some professional help. You can talk to a friend. Um, you know, search online how to manage all these um situations if you really want to go um big in content creation, especially on yeah. social media platforms like uh like uh, TikTok. So mm. yeah, it's uh <laughs> it's a it, I would say it's not that easy. Yes. Right. Yeah, so I've also heard of a similar line where it's essentially you are comparing other people's highlight reels with your regular mm. life and that's why yeah. it affects you a lot and it, it kind of makes it, you it, sad it, and depressed exactly so so that's yeah. why i i make it a point also to have some um good breaks right mm. um you don't need to post all the time you don't know you don't need to be scrolling through your feed all the time you don't need to be commenting and replying all the time mm. it's good some breaks um find some ways to relax unwind recharge yeah right? and come back even you know stronger or more creative what right after your break so it's good like they don't take your mind off things you don't need to be uh pushing out content every day or more than one post per day, right? I think mm. I know some content creators who can post wow, multiple a day yeah, and man. the quality is so good, right? It's, yeah. it's quality plus consistent. I'm heads off to them. They're really like next level type of content creators. So yeah, I, mm. I, I respect their, uh, their discipline and mm. their, their quality and their standards. Really very, very, very good. Yeah, man. Yeah. So for yourself, right, I'm mm. sure you've also had to deal with some negative comments, like haters mm. will be haters, right? How do you mm. settle those views, mm. you know, those haters? How do you deal with it? And then how do you recharge also How do, when you take away yourself yes. from the social media scene? Oh, uh, uh, very good question. So I think um, different uh, content creators, right, will have different uh, ways, like their own course, ways, right? Yeah. On but if mm. I were to share my own one, I think got a few ways. Uh, first, the easiest one, uh, it just there is a drop down list, click block, <laughs> click delete comment, that's it, you move on. Okay. That's one that's one way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another way, you know, reach out to a friend, um go and uh, talk about it. Um how do you feel when you read that those mm. types of comments? right yeah, how yeah. should you react should you react in a violent way should you react in you know um in a not civilized way mm. or should you be calm and composed digest and react rationally mm -hmm. yeah okay. so those are two ways like one delete block second you go and talk to some friends or, or someone you trust um you know on how you should deal with those comments mm. um, i know there are some uh, content creators who also actively um promote like what is social media etiquette like how should we be okay. like on social media 
because I remember when I was a kid, when in primary school or secondary school, we had this uh, lesson called civil education or is it moral education? Did you have yeah, that? civics and moral, C M E, yeah, I think. And civics and moral, civics yes. And moral education, where they teach you how to be a human being. Like a, yeah, essentially, a, yes. <laughs> exactly. But I, I don't know whether it has changed now. It shouldn't, if, right? I mean, it's just fundamentals yeah. of being a human, a decent yeah, a human. person. Yes, but I think because of how uh, we are all functioning now, where our lives are all on social media, it's also important to have social media specific um, education, right? Um, social media literacy, social media etiquette, like how you should react, how you should comment. You shouldn't say something, you know, should you say something harmful, hurtful, um, racist, or, or anything bad or negative? Mm. Should you do that? Must you do that? Yeah. Um, is there any other way uh, you can provide feedback? So mm. I think uh, if I could, yeah, that, it's a tricky situation. Like, but we, it shouldn't we, be, right? Like I personally yeah. feel like I think it shouldn't be because mm. what the, the only difference between that and in per, in-person interactions is the potential anonymity that you have behind your username. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of user than a dash of numbers type of people, right? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Random people who can say random oh. things about you versus Correct. I see you in person and like, okay, maybe I'll hold back. <laughs> Your video sucks. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the down, that's like uh, the downside, right? Also, because mm. um, they got the anonymity. Because so, in other words, they have no downside. <laughs> they got yeah. nothing to lose. But nobody will know who they are. Yeah, yeah. Right. Unless you suddenly go and hack into that account and then you know who that person is. But <laughs> so I think that's the main difference, right? Because of the anonymity yeah. if you are user dash one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah. So th- I think that's the reality of it. Uh, should we change? Yes. Um mm. easy to change um the whole of society? No. I think it'll require many efforts. Do I have the, all the answers to how to change? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes, and, and we got to do it, uh, yeah, step by step. And hopefully, you should start young. Um, yes. As in education should start at an early age about, you know, how we should be like on social media and commenting uh, or producing, consuming um, content online. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. It's just, it boils down to, like I say, treat others the way you would like to be treated. Uh, exactly. Regardless exactly. of socials or not. <laughs> Exactly, right? And I mean, are you going to treat the, the person the same way online as well as offline? Yeah, so that's, that's my thoughts on the whole, um, I would say, environment, or social media environment now. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's balanced. La. There will always be the lovers and also the haters. Correct, it's how you, correct, how you manage it, I guess. I mean, besides all the negative things, right, there will also be the positive things. Yes. I mean, all the positive comments, um, it also helps you to spur you on. Yeah. Right. Especially the the ones that um you trust, uh the ones that are ex so called experts in their fields, mm. Um, like for example, me if if I got uh, like um, if if you get a comment from a trusted singer, right? Mm, yeah. Or a, a, a lyricist, right? Then I think that would be a good morale booster also, right? and we help to. Um, encourage each other la. amidst all the negativity and the bad comments there's also the good comments right the way mm. will help you encourage you to, to, to spur you on to help you um, create more better consistent quality content yeah mm. and and of course why why do we create the content so I think it's, it's also important to know why you want to do it la. for me simple just one two things one put a smile on people's faces make people happy with my comments Right. Second one, okay, make check. myself happy. So yeah. Check. Wow. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and, and You're succeeding, my friend. To me, singing is uh, is a is, is my favorite hobby. And I realized that when I was overseas, when I was overseas for work, I mm. didn't have uh, opportunities to to teach or sing. That's when you realize that. That's when I realized that singing is like uh, yeah, it was uh yeah, my, that's my favorite hobby to. To unwind, to relieve any stress, any form of stress. Yeah. Mm, so good. that's my purpose. And I think each creator will have their own purpose yes. or purpose. Yeah. 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 
That's very nice, man. Okay, so now mm. let's turn back a little bit. You talked about creativity uh, in coming up with the lyrics to try and make it funny, right? And I think that's essentially how you were born or how you burst onto the scene. It was that one viral, hilarious parody video of that classic JC girl talking about mm. her views on men. <laughs> yes. So yes, yes. It's, it's funny because like that video is not new, but suddenly mm. it made its rounds on TikTok again and you came about with that genius <laughs> video. Uh, if you really want me right, uh, he must chase yeah. after me. So can you right. talk us through the process and the story behind your post. Ah, okay. So, so <laughs> I think I answered this question on like TikTok live before, but let, mm. let me try to answer in a more structured way right now. Right. <laughs> um, so, um, okay. It all happened one fine day. I was scrolling through my FYP and then I saw this viral video. It had like millions of views. It was about a mother who was singing a song about being a mother and raising a child. And she was using that, that same melody. It was called, mm. it's like, it, the melody is from the knife song. So after that video, immediately after that video, and when I swipe down, like, sorry, swipe up, <laughs> it <Yeah>. showed. <short. laughs> video of the if you really want me girl but in a, I, I i cannot remember who who that creator is mm. so it just suddenly sparked an idea to tell the story of that video that that, that if you really want me girl mm. with the melody of that viral song so so that's the idea right that that's there was a spark but how yes, do I okay. turn that up into a flame? So I went to re rewatch that video from uh, Mothership, which was posted actually three years ago, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So long ago, three years ago. So I went to re re rewatch that video. I typed out every word that she said. If you really want me, right, you have to chase after me. After me, you mean uh, um, you know, girls, right? They uh, we just want to get pampered. Right, so mm -hmm. I typed everything she said, right, and then added my own lyrics, <laughs> make it you know a bit more Singaporean focused, mm -hmm. uh, a bit of Singaporean nuances and humor, mm. and then recorded it. Um, yeah, and then I went, I went to post, <laughs> I mm -hmm. didn't have any expectations, right, because I prior to that video, I didn't do any parodies at all, yeah, yeah. Well, I no expectations. Just type. Uh, I I no. I just I just wrote it, recorded it, edited, posted. Went for a swim. <laughs> came back, and then <laughs> I realized I had many notifications about the song. Oh my god! Uh, uh, it's go. Uh, it's blowing up. Uh, uh <laughs> and then the notifications, the comments, that my Telegram group chats were blowing up also. And then, okay, I read, oh, wow. Then people uh, were commenting uh, about the video. And that's when I realized, okay, I think this is what the audience on on TikTok prefers, what they mm. want, mm. Um, what what makes them laugh. So yeah. from then on, um, yeah, I decided to do more such parodies, um, singing about um, trends, current affairs um or other topics right but using popular tunes oh but one more thing to add that i i sent it uh, to a friend uh, to check <laughs> that video before i actually posted it and uh, yeah and it was you <laughs> wow the yes, bully thing and, is <laughs> yes so, i yes, did nothing a, guys i did nothing it was a very fortunate uh yeah event which 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 just kick-started uh, the whole TikTok uh, journey, I would but, say. You know, before you post, right, do you have a feeling like it could go big? Because when I saw it, when you sent me the draft, right, I was so excited yeah. for it. Like, this works. It's hilarious. But I just uh -huh. told you to add lyrics. That's all. That's all. Yes. Yes. I was still telling you maybe you can get 40k. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I realized, you get 140k. I was like, I voice messaged you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you know, but I really, I, I really feeling? didn't have yeah. No expectations at all, right? Because because prior to that, I didn't make any parodies. Prior mm. to that, making, I would say, um, song covers, 
or and like duets mm. uh, never really pushing the boundaries to change the lyrics to a yeah. tune he was yeah. just singing the the same lyrics from the same song i mean uh, there's nothing wrong with that right um, yeah. there are many uh, great singers who who sing covers and they are and they are blowing up on, on, mm. on uh, various social media platforms there's really nothing wrong with that it's just that the um, yeah it was just to me luck um and some yeah and and very good uh, support <laughs> from the community <laughs> so yeah i count myself very lucky and and, and grateful okay now let me tell you that luck is where opportunity yeah. meets preparation my friend uh, wow. you've done wow. your prep, prep work for like 15 years of singing yes. before yes yes <laughs> yes, yes. Right, correct yeah no but okay mm-hmm. since then right you had a couple more viral hits to say the least you've got two that surpassed a million views so when uh-huh. you post those out do you have a feeling like this is gonna work this is gonna be big <laughs> this could be big i'm excited for yeah. this video is that yes, a feeling? It, I, yeah. I think yes. Um, I would say yes. Um, for those that made it big, right? Uh, when say and when I say big, it's like more than a million. Mm-hmm. Um, did I have a, a hunch, a feeling that it would make it big? Yes. Um, and 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 it's uh well, it's good, right? But there are also other videos where I had a hunch <laughs> that it, that it would become big, but it didn't. So, of course, um. You gotta manage your own expectations, right? Mm. Mm. Not everything is going to blow up. Yeah. Um, um if something blows up and you didn't expect it to blow up, wow, well, then good for you. Um mm-hmm. the, uh, the the algorithm is in your favor. Um people are supporting your content, good. But uh, if your question is did I have a hunch that those two um, okay, the first one was about the uh, the side effects of vaccine. The activities vaccine. one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The side effects of vaccination. Um, so the song was about uh, not doing strenuous activities. Yeah. For a week after your first and your second jab, mm, right? Mm. And then the second one uh was about uh, getting your vaccine in general. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, those, I think, yeah, I had a hunch that it would become, um, it would be, it, it would do better than my average, but mm. I didn't think it would blow up like a million. I don't think so. I didn't it have that. It spread faster than the virus, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really, yeah, because, yeah, if, if I think it will do well, I think, okay, maybe it will do okay, above average. Yeah, just Did one I, meal is yeah. okay. Mm. Yeah, no, 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 fine. no, no. <laughs> yeah, like, the big time creators will like get, get like one million, like like with a snap of a finger, like Thanos, boom, one million ready. But uh, no, I didn't have like expectation of like, it will blow up that like big. Nah. Mm. But I think I had some sort of hope that it will be, it will do better than average. Mm. Yeah. So it's quite fair to reason that there may be some kind of a science behind virality, right? Making a viral mm. hit. There should be some mm. kind of a formula for people mm. to replicate it in their, their pages. But I guess mm. you're not so much bothered about that. You're more about, I guess, producing what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's the balance of what the audience correct. likes and what you enjoy posting. Correct, correct. I think it mm. needs to be some balance also. Um, some content creators will just... Well, 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 prefer to post whatever they like, right? Yeah. What? Okay, you want to sing song covers? Okay. You want to do uh, your own lyrics? Okay. You want to write your own songs? Okay. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, there is no law. You are not obligated to do anything in a certain way. It's, it is an opportunity and a platform for you to exercise creativity, your own discretion, but of course, in a morally right way and a, mm. and a legal way right so um not not i'm trying not to be or don't, don't be offensive you know don't uh talk about well let's you know you, you gotta be you need to exercise discretion mm. yeah um are so, there topics that you that you notice and you straight away reflect like, i'm not gonna sing about this yeah I, okay it's a, it's a tricky situation right yeah man uh, like deaths, I don't, I don't think about mm. about that. 
Yeah, you know, it's an mm-hmm. unfortunate event. I, I really don't think about that. I think it's also important to respect the situation, yeah, respect yeah. the people involved, the people around the situation. I like don't, um, yeah, just you know, get, show some respect, uh, privacy. Mm. Um, don't don't think about it. Uh, yeah, I try my best to sing more positive stuff. Um, mm, okay, like <laughs> you know, um. Like mahjong or <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Really want me, rather than you know the sad stuff, right? It's a it's a it's a happy platform, I would say. <laughs> try mm. try to put more positive, happy stuff or educational stuff as well. Mm. Um, to be enlightening. Of course, to me, my favorite genre is um edutainment, where it right. is okay. where content is both educational and entertaining. Mm. Uh, so uh, uh, um. Yeah, those. I mean, there are many other genres. Like people like horror, lah. People like um dancing, know, love <laughs> island. They people like yeah. I don't know they have their own genre. They like K dramas. It's yeah. Uh, it's right? It, everyone has their own personal preferences. Yep. Okay, so after coming through this whole journey, six seven months, like having had some time in between to reflect on your journey, like now, for example, let's mm. look forward, man. What what's next mm. for you? What do you have in store? What what are your plans? Well, I think uh, continue to do the parodies, of course. Um, try to push the boundaries a bit, get more creative. Um, explore certain other genres to to do parodies. Um, because I've been focusing a lot on pop, right? Uh, I think there are mm-hmm. many other genres that I've not explored yet. Okay. okay. Um, hopefully, I can do some. Um, collaborations with other creators so, right yes um, yeah i think i think it'll be very cool right because now it's it's a bit hard to do collaboration because of the restrictions um, but i think once the restrictions are lifted and um, hopefully according adhering to the safe uh, measurement uh, measures mm. then i hope to do more collabs with other creators uh, because i think uh, there will be some potential syn- synergies to be unlocked right one plus one equals three <laughs> um yeah hopefully i think there, there are many out talented creators and i think if we bring those creators together i think there's more brilliant content to be created mm. and, and more uh, more um laughs and more smiles more happiness to be created <laughs> So yes, mm. yeah. Those are the thing to look forward to, like, Of course, I think you also need to upskill yourself, right? Um, in terms of like, edit, what what other edits I can do? What other um vocal uh, production skills I need to learn? Video production skills I need to learn. Any more skills I can learn? Um, writing lyrics. Mm, uh, okay. Yeah. So I think it's also about continuing to um improve, lah. An upskill learning, we should never stop learning. Like, yeah, mm. say those are the few things I have plans in. Will you be exploring yeah. a bit of the coaching side in your TikTok also? That would be your oh, yeah. edutainment, exactly. right? That's right. your version. So, yeah. All right. So, um, I, I I remember there was a learning on TikTok week. Oh, serious? Um, <laughs> a few weeks back, they have a learning on. Yeah, learning talk or something. I can I can't remember the exact hashtag. Okay. But basically it was about encouraging creators to create educational content mm. in that week. So I thought it was a good idea, right? Mm. Um when to post the content on how to do uh what is a vibrato, what is a head voice. Um yeah, but that was like a few weeks back. So yes, I would say I will consider you know um pushing more educational content as well. Uh, mm. given that I'm also coaching at the uh, on the sites. Are your yeah. students also on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, yes, do they, yes. Do they ask you about it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, some of some of them are um on TikTok. Uh, I think it'd be quite are, cool if you can collab with them. Uh yes, it'd be quite I, sweet I, I, as a teacher. <laughs> just say. <laughs> yes, some of them are uh, quite uh, big, actually very big on uh, TikTok, so on and on other social media platforms as well. Okay. Um. So hopefully, hopefully, like I said, when once the opportunities come and the restrictions and the measures allow, then mm. um, we we'll have. I hope to have more 
collaboration opportunities la, with other creators and of course not just mm. like creators but also you know if you have a talent and you have and you're not on a platform yet i think it's a good opportunity to collab also whether mm. or not you're you're an incumbent creator or not yeah mm. how should people contact you if they want to collab with you oh just i mean just just tiktok dms very fast <laughs> Yeah. But do it politely, right. like, if not, he'll just drag yeah. down box, block you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, 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 I try uh, my best to reply to DMs. So, uh, <laughs> of course, not like instantaneously, right? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I will try. Cool. Okay, so I think today we've covered quite a broad range of emotions, I guess. There was some serious life lesson stuff, which is very important to have in social media. Mm. And of course, mm. the exciting stuff happening on your platform. But yeah. if I have, before we leave, right, if I had to ask you, what is one mm. piece of advice you want to share mm. with the world? How? Just you know, be nice to each other. Treat others like how you want others to treat you. Think simple, right? <laughs> That's it. Simple, concise, be nice. Mm, Brian, mm. Mm, mm. Sip with a take a sip of that coffee, yes. <laughs> mm. Yes, Jeff <Just> kiss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, man. Thank you so much for doing this interview today. Yes. Uh, it's been a very, very fun time talking to you as always. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you, you for... enjoyed it, man. Yes, thank you for having me. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, thanks. See you again next time and all the best in your TikTok and everything else, man. Yes, thank you very much. Ciao. Bye-bye. Ciao.